Hey everyone, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make uh, black eyed peas in a pressure cooker. Um, some of you may have an Instapot, um, but if you have Instapot, it doesn't really matter what brand you're using. So I'm gonna get started. I'm using a cup of black eyed peas that I soaked um, for about an hour. You don't need to soak it no more than that. Um, I'm also using um, some um, bacon and um, you can use bacon, ham, or anything that's gonna flavor it. Um, smoked turkey, um, that, that will give it good flavor. Um, I'm also using one bay leaf, two chicken bouillon cubes, a half of an um, onion, a handful of parsley, three garlic cloves, and half of a green um, pepper. And for the dry ingredients, I'm using Sasson Completa or Complete Seasoning, it's homemade. And um, in it, it has garlic powder, onion powder, cumin, oregano, salt and pepper. So now I'm gonna start frying up my onions, my garlic, my uh, green peppers, and I'm gonna add in a bay leaf. And that's gonna give your beans a, a nice flavor. In addition to the bacon. And next, I'm adding in my bell pepper and my parsley. And basically what I'm doing is layering my flavors. One thing about um, beans um, is when you're making beans, beans can be really uh, flavorless. So you have to do a lot to make them um, have some flavor. You don't want them to taste like they came right out of the can. <laughs> okay, moving right along. I'm adding in my garlic and next I'm gonna add in my bay leaf. And the three things that I love, love, love cooking with are peppers, onion, and garlic. Those are the three things that really give your food a great flavor. And it also makes the house smell so delicious. Okay, so um, basically everything is done. Uh, my onions are translucent and the peppers are soft. So I'm gonna take this out and I'm gonna put it in a bowl, set it aside and start frying up my bacon. And once I fry up the bacon, I'm gonna take half of the bacon and add it to the beans as I'm cooking them. And then the other half of the uh, bacon, I'm gonna to add toward the end, basically as a garnish, just to give the beans a little crunch. So now I'm gonna add back my onions, my garlic, peppers, and my bay leaf to the beans. Next, I'm adding in my bacon and my two bouillon cubes with four cups of water. So I'm gonna stir everything together and I'm gonna add in about a teaspoon of olive oil um, to um, add to the beans. And the reason why I'm adding the olive oil is because when you cook with a pressure cooker, um, beans have a tendency to be foamy, and then the oil keeps down the foaminess. So now I'm going to add in my dry seasoning. I'm adding in some black pepper. Uh, I'm going to add in um, a little bit of salt. I don't want to add too much salt because I have the chicken bouillon cubes, and they're salty. And then I'm going to add in about, um, I'm going to say, I'm eyeballing it. So I'm going to say about a tablespoon of Sasson Completa, complete seasoning. And like I said before, it has garlic, onion powder, um, cumin, oregano, and it has salt and pepper in it. So now I'm gonna give my beans a stir and mix all the flavors together. And in 15 minutes, my beans will be done. And that's the reason why I love cooking with a pressure cooker, because you get out of the kitchen quicker. Now, if I would have made these in a regular pot, it was taking me about 45 minutes to maybe an hour to cook these beans. So my beans are ready and I'm going to take a little of the beans, um, about a quarter cup of beans. I'm gonna put it in a bowl and um, the reason why I'm doing this is because um, when you cook beans, the broth is really thin and um, a tip to thicken up your broth is to take some of the beans out, mash them up and make a paste and then put it back into the beans. Um, you also can use cornstarch. That can also thicken up the beans. You can use about two teaspoons um, and add some water to it and then make a slurry and pour it back into the, the, the bean broth. And 
And finally, I'm adding in the, the additional uh, bacon and some parsley. And I'm gonna test the beans to see if they, they have enough salt or if I need to add a little more seasoning to it. And you wanna just test your beans to see if they need any additional salt, pepper, or any other dry seasoning. And once you find out what you need to adjust, then you adjust it. Well, everybody, I want to thank you for taking the time out to watch this video. Please stay tuned for more upcoming videos. And if you like this video, please hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell so you'll know when I'm uploading new videos. Please follow me on Instagram and also on Facebook at my Facebook group called Lolita's Cuban Kitchen. Have a good day. God bless. Bye-bye.